Dave. How you doing? Welcome back to the Monkey London channel. Last week we did your 2JZ M3. This week we're doing something a little bit different. We call it the Magangu. It's a Renault Kangoo uh, with a Magan 225 turbo Crazy. engine in it. I'm taking it 225 horsepower. Uh, believe to be. We don't know if the engine was stock or not, but I haven't took it to be mapped or anything or rolling roaded yet. It's li literally... I've driven it twice before you've come here. What engine did these originally come with? Uh, this one was a 1.7 diesel, diesel DCI, 75 brake. <laughs> so 75 horsepower. Yeah. And you've now gone up to 225. Yes. It was, believe it or not, it was my sister's van, her works van, uh, and she struggled to get it up the hill to the unit uh, on the way to <laughs> drop it. Now it's got no trouble. Where did you source the engine from? Uh, I found a Megan 225 turbo that had been repossessed for no tax. We needed a, a Kangoo, a Clio 172 and a Megan turbo. Everything to, to make the van where yeah, it is now, yeah, crazy. The, so three, three cars essentially. Yeah. What bits do you need to use from the Clio? Okay, so I worked out that a Clio gearbox will go onto a Megan turbo engine. Uh, it's, it's not as strong, but the van's quite light, so we're going to see how it goes and if it needs uprated box mm -hmm. we'll have the box uprated yeah. but uh, basically if you put the Clio sump onto the Megan engine it gives you the bottom gearbox holes the crank end is the same so you can put the Clio flywheel and clutch on it so then you line the gearbox up on that and uh, tap and drill the uh, drill and tap the uh, the block Crazy. for the Megan 225 engine is there anyone else out there running a 225 lump in one of these Kangoo vans well I I could be corrected if I'm wrong, but I haven't been able to find one. There's a few lads out there who've done 172 conversions uh, and they've put like low boost turbos on and whatnot, but I haven't been able to find another person who's put With a Megan turbo engine in one yet, but yeah. I could be wrong, don't hold me to that. Yeah, crazy. If someone out there knows, let me know. Yeah, let us know in the, in the comment section. Yeah. Do you want to quickly show us the engine, Bay? Yeah, yeah. What sort of complications did you have in fitting this engine? I wanted to fit everything off the Megan. So I wanted to fit the radiator, the intercooler, you know, all the cooling systems. So I knew it was going to run at the same sort of temperatures that, that the Megan did. The main complication is the downpipe from the turbo uh, because it fouls the reservoir. I've extended the pipes from the brake servo up to the reservoir, which gives you more clearance. And then we just knocked up a, a downpipe from the turbo okay. um, use, using elbows and whatnot. I've built the exhaust from the turbo back myself. It's only got one box in it because they're quite a quiet engine. So it's a two, in, uh, two and a half inch downpipe and a two inch uh, exhaust all the way to uh, all the way to the back. Fair play. With uh, just one silencer at the rear. And what does it sound like? It's quiet actually. Yeah, yeah. it's quiet. <laughs> Have you had any sort of little battles on a, on private track, of course? Yeah, yeah, we had um, on a private track. Uh, we had uh, an Audi S4 yesterday, and this was at this point I'd got a misfire on it, which I didn't know what it was going to be. I found out this morning it cool. was the coil cool packs, packs, which yeah. is co which is common, but yeah. It, um, it left an, uh, an Audi S4 standing <laughs> two times in a row. I think. But what did the guy say, man? The guy, he must have been he, pretty shocked. He wouldn't, he wouldn't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised, yeah, he man. He didn't want to acknowledge me. <laughs> what about on the electrical side of things? Were there any complications with the loom? Uh, so in order to try and keep things as simple as possible, I've tried to fit as much Megan parts to it as I possibly can. So I took the complete loom out of the Megan, uh, only chopping it where it went back to the rear lights because they're different. Um, so we've spliced it into the rear lights with the help of uh, Gaz Thomas, he's our friendly local uh, guy who's clued up on auto yeah, electric. electrics. Yeah, yeah uh, the headlights were different, um, but as far as the engine loom goes, we've used all of it, even to the point of, um, 
of putting the clocks in, using the Megan 225 clocks with a bit of uh, dashboard modification to get them to fit. <laughs> I decided that I would fit the Megan electric steering column so that I could use all the uh, wipers and switch gear off the Megan. This is running a huge amount more power than what it originally came with. What about the chassis and the brakes? Okay, so the reason I needed um, the Clio as well wasn't just for the gearbox uh, and the drive shafts. Also, you can put the uh, Clio subframe uh, legs into the Kangoo van um, and the Clio I bought actually had a brand new set of K-Tech uh, coilovers on it and um, black diamond discs and pads. Oh, perfect. So yeah, so we've run we've run all of, all of that on the front end. The back end we've lowered on the torsion beam and we changed the uh, back shocks for rated payload shocks, uh, which are just a set of sacks basically for carrying a heavier load but yeah. they balance poundage wise quite nicely with the uh, with the front with suspension the front, yeah. yeah yeah what about wheels and tires they, they're clio wheels yeah we've just run the uh, run the stock wheels off the clio which we've got uh, a brand new set of tires on so it made sense i, I normally do swap them over to uh, turbines just because they look nice look on cool, the van yeah. but these were what to was uh, was down at the time so we've gone with those in the back it looks pretty race car yeah <laughs> well, out. we just sort of take everything out that's that's non-essential so you know all the sound in and out the footwells any ply lining we get rid of that you know there's normally have a heavy padded base uh, in the back so we just remove all of that you know it's, yeah. we're not interested in uh, carrying carrying around a piano or anything <laughs> so you know and how heavy is this van any idea uh the last one we did which was as equally as stripped came in at 950 kilos oh, that's very light and you yeah. think this is probably the same sort of weight just 950 ish i would imagine it's pretty close yeah yeah with 225 you're probably what 230 240 horsepower per ton yeah which yeah, is yeah. a lot yeah it moves along well yeah, <laughs> yeah. i'm not surprised Quick little look in the interior, Dave. You've got Megan 225 seats. Yeah, we just thought, well, you know, they're there. Might as well put them in. Yeah. They're a little bit heavier than a race seat, but you know. Certainly a lot more support than the original uh, the original diesel seats. Oh yeah, you'd be falling off the diesel <laughs> seats, yeah. And then what about the steering wheel? Uh, the steering wheel's Megan 225. There's a little bit more tidying up to do, but. Yeah. And then what about track action? Do you reckon you'll get, get around the track at any time soon? Because obviously you're a bit of a track fanatic. I've got a message for Guy Martin. I'm coming for your Nürburgring world record. There we heard it here first, lads. <laughs> next, next year you're having it, mate. <laughs> Right, so we, we've pretty much gone through most of the logistics of the van. Should we take it out for a little spin? Yeah, let's go for it. Sit. Because these are Clio brakes, aren't they? So what, how much does a Clio weigh? I can't be much, about the same weight as this, isn't it? Uh, they're bloody fractionally heavier. Fractionally heavier yeah. yeah. That's always important, obviously. You know, if you are going to uprate the power in your car, like Dave's done, you do need to start thinking about the suspension and the brakes. because you're in a van but you're going so quick and it handles as well you know it doesn't yeah, feel like it doesn't uh, feel sort of wobbly it's quite stable on the uh, K10 coil over oh, I love this man there's nothing worse than a shit car that goes fast yeah it's prop this is a proper sleeper isn't it yeah. Still work in progress for you, like yeah. you said, you've only really just this put is, the lump this in. This is as much as a 
test drive for me as it is uh, yeah, for, for me in the audience. It's quite quiet as well, isn't it? Yeah, well, we didn't want it to be loud. It's sort of, take, if you're sitting at the traffic lights and it sounds like it's got something monstrous <laughs> in it, it takes half the fun out of it. Yeah, it gets rid of that sort of sleeper element, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, plus normally when I build something like this, I drive it as a daily. Uh, and you don't want something that's giving you a fucking headache 24-7. Yeah. Gearbox and clutch, and this is the Clio 172. Yes. And the clutch is a standard? Uh, the clutch is an uprated. Oh, it's got an uprated clutch? Yeah, it's um, a clutch and gearbox paddle clutch. Ah, okay. What's the sort of feel like? What's the what's the bite like? It feels nice, actually. Not to too bad? Yeah, yeah, quite yeah, drivable. It's, yeah, it's very drivable, yeah. yeah. It's like you said, with this being a bit of a daily as well, you need to keep some sort of drivability. Yeah, there's nothing worse than having to pump the, uh, pump the clutch pedal. <laughs> it's like the, bouncing around. The traffic, yeah. <laughs> concentrate on next things like sort of the, maybe the brakes or uh, well I've got the Megane 225 uh, Brembo to go on yeah. yeah to go on it I'm literally just waiting for the conversion brackets and then I think it needs just a fraction more support on the engine so I'll probably go Vibrotechnics engine mounts, engine mounts. Yeah. Yeah. Massive thanks to Dave for bringing the Magangu yeah, or the, no the Kangu down. If you guys could give Dave a cheeky little follow down here, really, really appreciate it. He is a paint specialist, so if you guys need any paint work, feel free to give him a shout. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this cheeky little video, and we will see you soon.